sorry about that, folks. I <laughs> didn't have my mic thing down. Anyway, welcome to Aeon. I'm L, for those who don't know me. Well, it's L Raven, but everybody just calls me L. But anyway, welcome to Aeon. I welcome you, my awesome buddy, Bill Smith, and the gang. Uh, we've been running a character. We created her. She's a fighter. This is her. Bella, Bella and Mum. And I'd like to say hello to my awesome bud, Bella Smith, and her, naturally, her mum. Hello, mum. Um, let's take a moment and overview what you see on the screen. Uh... In the lower left hand, lower left hand corner, you see uh, basically the chat box, and it has tabs for the various, you know, for various things that you can do. Uh, groups, you know, groups, uh, combat, normal, and all. And you hit just hit the enter key on your keyboard, and you can you can converse with people. Down below that in the corner is a picture of, it will be a picture of your character. Next to it, a, the number will be your level. And of course you get a red bar, which is HP. And you get a blue bar, which is MP, or mana, as they usually say. The, the empty bar below the blue bar is for DPS. Which are, which are used with, uh, high damage skills. This bar has to be full. And then of course, moving to the right, you have the start of your skills. These are skill slots. All the way over in these, over here, this is set. This is change weapon. Um, this will take you back to, uh, the village. You have your bandages and, of course, the loot. And to the, to the right of those, you have this big big circle with green all the way around. Well, she is a deva. Well, no, she's not a deva yet, but when she's a deva, she'll be able to fly. And this is her flight gauge. The green, the green counts down, and when it gets down so far, she'll be warned. Uh, you don't have very much flight time. You need to find a place to land. Or you crater into the ground. And you wind up at an obelisk. Of where you bound. Uh, here you have. Menu. You, you can use the menu. Unless you know your keystrokes. If you don't know your keystrokes. Just hit the little blue arrow. And pick it from the list. And next to that. You got a couple things here. And you have got the mini map. Up in the upper right hand corner you have the quest window. You hit J on your keyboard and you can check mark the quest that you pick up and put them there and it helps you. We got two quests. Requested a Yelm, which is this dude. <laughs> We're gonna wait wait on him. And the other is mushroom thieves, which are bell pigs. You say, what the hell is a bell pig? Picking up some points. Minor Maystone or yeah. Let's round this notch out by killing, by getting him. You can hit tab and select him. We're working on level 7.
Eh, we don't want that. Let's move on. We got bell pigs to ca kill. Do some gathering. That's one thing you want to do when you play the game. When you first start out, gather, 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 gather. Because when you take the Ascension Test at level 9 and then go to the big city, the capital city, for the ceremony, you will be a Deva and you will not, when you come back here to finish up quests that you have, you won't be able to gather. Because these stuff is for mortals. The other more important reason is you want to get a lot of gathering points because you, you, when you choose a profession you're going to need to gather materials and if you don't have enough gathering points to gather certain materials that you need you will have to gather until you do. And that's the way it is. Uh, let's find our bell pigs. Oh wow, a goat! Bah, 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 bah. Ah, uh, yes, our bell pigs. One. <coughs> One of eight. Bad, bad. He's gonna hate what I'm about to do. Once we get him a good sword and loot, we can, uh... That's two. Let's have her sit down and recoup. <coughs> Excuse me. We need to recoup her health. She's getting really, really close. She's two notches in the experience bar from leveling to level 7 Always keep an eye on your health gauge. When it gets too low... Level seven. Let's gather. Do some gathering. We're working. We have nine points. We're working on number ten. Every ten points, you get to gather a new item. 
other than what you're gathering now. There are items that you'll be able to to gather. We're over in an area of the starting Elias starting area. Uh, dude, don't go away. I'll be right back. Now. Where is she? Ah, yes. Here's a waterfall. Is she here? She's not here. Cool. There is a gal. I, I she. I think she's a mermaid. When she's here, uh, don't attack her. I have tried at least twice to ace her. To get, you know, basically kill her, and she's took me out in it. Took me out in one hit. And we got a skill. Let's look at our skill. What do we got? Rage. Is rage... Yes, rage is a... Uh, rage is a chain skill. You can click it and it'll stop glowing or it'll drive you insane five of eight um the starting area one through ten is designed for a couple things To teach you a couple things about the game, you know, get you acquainted with the game, they level you quickly. They level you quickly, and basically that's why they level you the way they do, uh, because they're trying to push you out the other end. You may find yourself back here in later levels for a different reason. I've had that happen with one of my Asmodian characters. They revisited the starting place. Uh, they had to go back and see a character named Munin when they hit level 21. Okay. Level 20, 21, you, you're eligible for a studio apartment. Hey, now that's something to look forward to. My friend Bella and her mom can help me figure out what to, what to put in it. One more. He's dead. what we need, we go back and talk to Ampries. Bah, bah. Oh, the map. I forgot to show that. I've showed it in the other video, but I'll show it in this one too. Hit him. There's the map. And there's a little square right there. Hit it, and it goes transparent and transfers into the upper left-hand corner of the screen. And hit 
hit X. She'll come out of combat. She'll put her weapons away and come out of combat mode. Hey man, can you dig it? <laughs> Have you business with me? Nah, I just like standing here. Admiring you digging a hole. <laughs> anyway. Now, you're saying to yourself, we're level 7. Request of the Young is level 5. We talk to him now? 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 Right now? Right now? Yeah? Right? Wrong. Nope. We talk to this guy. Nice to meet you. He's got some, he's got a level 4, a level 5, and a level 6. He wants insomnia medicine. Nice to meet you. Uh, message to the elm, uh, message of the elm. Bye. And... Nice to meet you. Right. Okay. Be careful. Right, right. We'll be careful. Hit J. Hit quests. And check check mark them so they appear in our quest window now we go back down here we were here in one of the other videos We need three of these Everglades Sparkies. Where are you going? Don't you dare. Get back here, you prude. That's one. Of the three skills that we have down, and we'll get more skills later, uh, that's two. We need one more. Of the three skills in the skill bar at this time, the second and third are, are on cooldowns. They have cooldowns. In other words, there's a, a number of seconds that uh, they can't be used. We got our three. Put our sword away. There we go. Now, we're going to make a side trip because one of one of the other quests that we picked up, uh, it's not very far. It's just right down here. If you've seen the other video, you know that we came. We were right around this house. And we talked to a lady, we delivered meat to this lady. Well, we go down here and we talk to her again. Uh, this has to do with the Elm's message. She's going to send us to the village where we're going to go anyway. And we got some more points. 
She's got a fishing quest for those who want to try their hand at fishing. I bypass it. Gather, gather, gather. to uh, gather an additional thing. It's a Brax. Moo, 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 moo. <laughs> we gotta go up here and go to Uno with our sylphon wings and either have him make juice or a soup and we'll go back to the guy we gave the quest to. One of the things we'll do when we get... We also have to deliver uh, some kind of med to a guy down in a camp. Try my award-winning cuisine. Okay. It's a ooh ooh bird. Ooh 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 bird. Ooh 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 bird. Ooh ooh. Anyway. <coughs> now we're on our way back to the guy. We'll stop and we'll stop and give him his his insomnia med and we'll go down to the dance camp. While we're down there we're going to do something. You can do this, this particular thing, you can do it, you can do it however you wish. I do it while I'm down here delivering what I'm about to deliver. I do it then, because I will no longer be in this, this part of the map. Dude, I'll be right back. Click nice him. And we got a little more. What, one more thing of points. Uh, faster way of traveling rather than go all, run all the way down there is this is a transport statue. Choose Melpo's and campsite. And we are beamed. We are transported to the campsite. Yay. We'll be here for some quests. Uh, the dude in question is this dude. It's a level six. Please take your time. Cool. We're halfway. Halfway to level eight. That's a soul here. You give her some money, so heal your soul now the thing I was going to do this as you saw in the last video is what they call the obelisk you click it it costs it'll tell you how much it costs I'm now bound to this location I'll be down in this location from you know as soon as we get done with the request of the elm uh, so, the reason why is this. 
the reason why I, I bind myself down here at, when I deliver what I, what I just delivered is if I am in the upper part of the map doing something and I die or if, I, no, wait a minute, if I'm down in this area and I get killed I go to the village because that's the last place I was bound to and you'll have to run all the way back here at least halfway at least part of the way to the transport statue that's the Lord of the Trees we'll be seeing him in a little bit he has a necessary thing Request of the Elm is, is a quest. It's a must do. It's a main quest, but it's a must do. Oh! I forgot something while I was in the village. Hang tight. Quick trip. Village. Forgot to talk to the priest. Ion has led you here. Right, Ion leading right. Alright, got a few more points. We're cool, everything is cherry. Oh, I know. Make a quick trip. Let's see what they got in weapons. Greeting. You click buy. What do we got? We got the mercenary sword. 20 to 26 attack power. Accuracy 72. Critical strike is 50. And we got the mercenary mace. 20 to 30. Accuracy is 122. Critical strike is 10. We don't mind we don't mind spending what we just spent for the weapon. This gives us a weapon a little bit a weapon with a little bit more hit and power. Usually you get them in the loot. In the last video we had Captain Kalo was re rewarding us and we had a choice between a sword, a mace, or a shield. I opted for the shield. So now we have a mace. Anyway, I shall whisk us to the campsite and we will uh, continue on there. Stay tuned.